Okay, so I'm going to be showing how to import an ASF project in or any studio project into MPLabX. So let's just create a new ASF project quickly. 324 PB is the device that I have. And I'm just going to select the first option here, which is the LED example, and basically turn on a LED when I push the button on this kit. So you can see my tool configuration. I have basically an Apple ICE connected um, through the JTAG connector on the, the 324PB. So I'm going to select the Apple ICE and JTAG. And now I should simply be able to run the project. And just to show you what's happening in main while it programs is that we turn on, we basically get the button state and then turn on and off our LED. And you can see that now, as I push the button, the LED flashes. Okay, so we can open the project directory here, open folder and file explorer. And now let's go to MPLabX and we're gonna say file import Apple Studio project and I can just take this directory and um, paste it in here and as we browse we are directly in that directory and we can create the project. Um, Atmel Ice, next select the AVR toolchain which it picks up from the studio installation. Um, now uh, interesting thing to note is that the source files are not copied, they are rather referenced in the original project directory. So it's best to just leave this as the default directory and then the MPLAB X projects will be created there. So as we finish with that, and uh, here's our example, and source files. Um, so just to show you how these, these source files are related, uh, if I just change something here, like for instance putting a couple of spaces, I uh, come back to Studio, it tells me the project has changed, and I can see that any changes, so they reference back. Okay, so um, now I'm in MPLabX, and I'm going to, let's uh, debug this project, and select Atmel Ice, okay. So it's um, running as it was before, and um, uh, the way I can check that is I can reset. I can see we're sitting there in main. Obviously, nothing is working now, um, but if I run the project, we can see we have the same functionality working as before in Atmel Studio.